The benefits of addressable advertising is really timing and relevance, being able to put the right message in front of the right consumer when the television is on, um, being able to have access to more specific targeting that go beyond the tradition Nielsen demographics, and lastly, measurement and ROI reporting. Because it's incredibly powerful to know you're delivering the right message to that consumer. Being able to see how that consumer is responding to that message is even that much more powerful. I think the next step in terms of really addressable advertising and helping bridge that gap between television and digital is really delivering addressable across all platforms. So whether it's across the linear TV product as well as OTT services like our own Sling TV. It's really when it, it doesn't matter how a consumer is consuming that content as long as we're able to get that message in front of the right consumer. So we work with uh, third-party data vendors to create, take our first-party data and match with their third-party segments or clients' first-party data to really identify the households that meet that client's targeting criteria. Everything that we do in terms of matching is completely anonymized and uh, privacy compliant. It really centralizes around data. Um, we use data on the front end to identify that target, but also data is, is driving the measurement on the back end. We've seen results where a client has been able to see $26 million in incremental sales for a particular make and model of a vehicle. We've also seen uh, a, a CPG uh, advertiser see more than three, three to one on, on a return on investment for one of their campaigns as well. So it really doesn't matter what you're selling, it really can work for all, all kinds of verticals and categories. So the idea here is, is really advertising is going to be more well received when the message is more relevant to that household.